Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for April the 1st through the 7th, 2013. And so, um, as we tune into this week, <clears throat> as we've already called in all of you into the platform of oneness, calling up your angels and your guides um, to show us what messages they would like to share with us for the week and just tune into the energy um, and get a sense of uh, um, that this is going to be a week of um, some things are going to start to manifest, um, seeing that, um, you know, uh, that the energy um, is uh, very, very um, good around um, there's a really, you know, supportive um, uh, energy um, or being um, who is just radiating so much light um, and uh, such a divine presence with us. Um, and so, and also the fairies. And so um, let's just see what it is that the um, angels want to be say that it can help us and to get uh, be a little bit more specific about what that is for us for this week i just want to just take a little time and just really connect in and um so the first card is the archangel card and the card says all is well and it's the archangel jeremiah it says everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand so if i just tune into this card for a moment and the archangel jeremiah and i get a sense that that being was the archangel and the archangel jeremiah's message is really um the first thing that i saw is that we may not always um understand what's happening right now things may not look like they're really um going well or things may you still may be waiting for something to happen and you haven't noticed it yet but the thing is is that the blessings that are happening right now is going behind the scene and so what he's really saying to us is that the universe is standing behind you and supporting you fully. It's working through everything on your behalf. And you really have nothing to worry about. Um, that everything is um, in perfect divine order. It may be happening behind the scenes, but what you're trying to manifest, um, they are working it out. And so what you can do is really to let go um, and let God in this situation and continue to trust. Um, you know, I remember years ago um, a situation when I w was looking for work and because I had uh, left my job and I became quite alarmed at, um, you know, three months, uh, four months after I had given them my notice and I realized that I hadn't done anything. And, um, you know, all is well, meaning solutions are already provided before you ask. And this is a great example in my own life when that happened. Um, I was, you know, it was a Memorial Day and I just all of a sudden became struck with anxiety and fear because I realized I had not done anything to look for new, for new employment. And um, I went into prayer, I actually got on my knees on the floor on a quilt that um um, someone next door to my grandmother had given me uh, before she died, and I put four books there. and I don't remember the, the the things that I read really making any sense, except that I was in a state, a new state of awareness, and something said, "Let go and let God." What I didn't realize, to make it a long story short, is that I was worried about money. That one of my jobs, um, where I used to work as a choir director, they had already. Um, from the moment I told them in February, began to have begun rather to raise money, uh, like uh, it was like eight thousand dollars, and at that moment, months later, I 
didn't have, I saw a problem. I didn't know that there was a solution already provided for me by the universe and by God. And so I woke up one day seeing a problem. And most of us see problems. And then we think of solutions as an answer to problems. But in the divine, in the divine order of things, solutions are created before you and I ever know that we have a problem. And so the thing is, is that we have to have that faith and that trust in knowing that the solution before you knew what you needed, before you knew what you lacked, because that's where your problem uh, perception comes from, is a place of lack, which is our ego. And so one of the ways to get out of our head, to get out of the ego's um, traps is to not see problems and to recognize that before you have ever made a choice or decision, a solution was created because your heart is known to the universe. The purity and the truest aspect of your heart and its desires are known to the universe before you know them. And at that moment that that desire was created, it was answered. It didn't come from, desires don't come from problems. Desires of the heart come as, as gifts. And then those gifts are answered. Are, are, are the solutions for those gifts or desires to come about are created by the universe before you need it. So all we have to do is just step into this awareness. All we have to do is step into our truth. And it will guide us. Our hearts will guide us to understanding what that is and how to achieve that. So let's just uh, take a look. So that's the theme for the week. So no matter what's kind of coming up for you, um, just know that you have, if anything comes up that's distracting you, because the ego is definitely going to do that, everything is well. And this is the reason why. So let's take a look. We're using the, the goddess deck from uh, by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what the goddesses have to say to us and see what the focus, the action, and the gifts or lessons that may be coming to us for the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week. Ah, look at this. The card is Divine Passion. Okay, and it's the goddess Pele. It says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Okay, and it's funny, B, when I asked, you know, which cards to use today, this is exactly what I saw in the vision. I saw a vision of a volcano erupting. So, um, you know, this this is means also that and it confirms that idea of manifestation because um, what's been inside of your heart is ready to erupt, is ready to set sparks into your life, to, 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 to create, um, you know, to create an experience that is no longer determined by the, the past, but is determined and by the ego's illusion, but is determined by the purity of your heart. And if you haven't figured out what that is yet for some of you, then now is the time to really get connected with what is inside your heart. Really be honest. So this card also, you know, the goddess Pele is also kind of asking us, what is it that you really want? You know what it is, but you've probably been afraid or you feel vulnerable about opening up to what that is. And now is the time now is the time. And and I get a sense that, you know, it's either you can can begin to really choose um, to be aware or you can continue to ignore the signs of what's in your heart. And, you know, it's better for the universe because the universe, God's will is going to be fulfilled. And remember, because it's your will, you and God's will are one. What he desires for you comes from the desires that you have for yourself. You know, both of both the soul and God are one in the sense that the highest good um, is always the service of our of our soul's truth, of our divinity. And so there is no separation there. And so the thing is, is that it's easier when we... Um, do not ignore the higher calling of our purpose and our soul. 
so that we can flow with it in a very harmonious and balanced way. When we don't, then it kind of seems like something's kind of like, you know, throwing you into something, a situation that you may not have uh, been ready for, you think, or prepared for. So in order to be prepared, um, be honest with yourself and accept what's in your heart and act upon it without delay. So let your divine passion, let your passion flow. Now, don't be afraid of it, um, of being in your heart. Um, and don't be afraid of the passions you have for your life. And that those, and for those of you who are just discovering them and you feeling like a, a, your life has been turned upside down a little bit, don't be afraid of that. Um, because we are always divinely guided, even when things seem as though... It's not divine. Everything is divine because everything that has been created is a part of that oneness field of energy. And so everything is always working in your favor. It's just a matter of how you perceive the situation. And if you can perceive it through the, your, your heart's truth and love, then you will get the immediate understanding of why something is happening. So for this week, focus um, the focus is to be honest with yourself about what you really desire and don't delay in, in, in acting upon that and honoring that truth. Let's take a look at the action card for the week. And the card says, is Lakshmi. It says a bright future. It says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? So, again... The action for the week is to not worry, to not be um, frightened about your future um, or anything that you feel. Again, this is just wonderful confirmation about that all is well. And so the action this week is to let go of worry. Let me just tune into this card and see what message Lakshmi, further messages she has for us. She's just saying, you know, to, to look at the opportunities. This is a great time to review, review your, 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 your heart. Really take a clear look at what is ego fear and what is really your truth and your passion is what she's saying. To be, to get really grounded, to um, embrace, to embrace your passion for whatever it is that you have a passion about, a true passion about. To really embrace this, um, you know, so, so really review. The action for this week is instead of worrying, review, you know, review what is it that is your true passion. Um, you know, look, look into your, look into your, your soul and see what that is. Keep that connection, um, with the understanding that all is well, that everything is going to work out. And the only thing that you have to get clear about is what do you really want? It seems very simple and too simple to be that good but that's really what it's about just getting clear about what you really want to accomplish what do you really want to do without thinking about the consequences or what could go wrong what is it that you really want to do so try to let go of worry and concerns and just know that even though you can't see what's going on behind the scenes and how the divine is really working out everything. You know, when they said to me, let go, let God, they said to me, there are things that we give to you that you have to do. But the rest of it is the universe's job. And that when I am trying to control and do more than the part that they're giving to me, which is not much, actually, that I am lowering the frequency that lowering the by controlling i'm um lowering the the possibilities of what i can 
can receive and allow in. So by you trying to handle it, you control, you are actually creating less because the universe has the infinite wisdom and consciousness and, and, and to be able to handle um, the majority of the for the, that needs to be done, the majority of the work that needs to be done, the foresight the, to see how everything will align beautifully. From our human uh, finite perspective, we don't have that, but the universe does. And so they give us the pieces to ha that we need to do that that is that the human uh, consciousness is capable of doing. So in actuality, we have less to do than we think. And so we just have to allow them to do that. Let's look at the next card and see um, this is the, the gift or the lesson. So this card is the White Tara, the Goddess White Tara, and it's titled Sensitivity. And the card says, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So last week in this position as a gift, our lesson, we had this exact same uh, kind of idea where we're talking about, um, you know, be paying attention to well, we were talking about water and, and vegetables. Again, now we're talking about um, being gentle with ourselves and avoiding, you know, harsh chemicals and situations and environments. So I feel like um, that, you know, we need to take care. Right now, there's, you know, we're feeling um, very sensitive as we are increasing our frequency and our awareness. It's making us more sensitive to our environments, which means you're picking up more information. You may be taking on um, more information from others, um, what's going on in the environment. So what you really want to do is avoid, you know, chemicals, um, just like they were talking about eating healthy foods and drinking lots of water. You really want to keep detoxing, paying attention to how you you can detox your body, detox your mind, um, you know, avoid uh, harsh media uh, kind of things where, you know, uh, or going into environments that are very harsh where the energy feels, um, you know, um, the environment feels very heavy, uh, dense, or maybe, um, you know, there's just, it doesn't feel, it feels fear-based, you know. So really try to pay attention to, you know, the people, um and where we place ourselves and where, where we place our attention to be more uh, sensitive um, towards yourself in that way because you are a sensitive light beam and, you're, and, and you become very intuitive and you absorb things like a sponge. So we really need to be uh, mindful of that also so that we don't take on um, this, you know, takes, it helps, well, it causes us to take on more worry and it causes us to take on more anxiety and fears of our own that blocks us from being grounded in the oneness and in our own passions to to know that everything is well to have this belief um, that you know you got your future is going to be bright and turn out all right. So we have to be careful of those kind of things. So if there are people or relationships that you've been involved in, it's probably time to let those go. Um, as we open up to the future and allow and be able to trust more and, you know, have a sense of uh, a greater sense of clarity and purpose and for our lives. So let's take a look at the last card, the, the fairies. And the card says so a miracle healing. Okay, this is a very wonderful card. This reading for this week um is very um, uplifting, very positive. So we can expect a lot of um, wonderful things to happen. And remember, the ego is just going to get really busy when it feels like you know it's losing its grasp of you know creating illusion for you that keeps you 
stuck in worry and keeps you, you know, stuck and, and, and unable to move forward. So when I tune into this card for the fairies, what they're just saying is trust and trust the path that you're on right now. Don't give up. They're saying, don't worry that a lot that the abundance is coming. Your whatever it is that you've been um, praying about, or whatever, 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 what uh, ideas that you have been working on, uh, creative ideas, um, that these things are coming through into fruition. So really stay grounded at this time. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in any former. Um, vulnerabilities or situations that cause you to feel vulnerable, um, that may cause you to feel like giving up. They, they, they have, they're wrapping their, um, their arms around you and they're carrying you if you ask them for assistance. But they're doing it anyway because they, they're hearing your prayers and they just want you to know that, they, that they're, they want you to stay grounded. They want you to know that they're very close to you and working with you. So um, if this has to do, could be, you know, this miracle healing could be many things. It could be the healing, you seeing uh, just a miracle of something you've been expecting to come into your life. Um, again, I see, you know, that she's a going through that the world I'm also drawn to the fact that the world in this card is going through another um, gateway and it looks like the world and the fair is going through so there's some really huge shift happening this week um, that all of us um, that the, you know the earth and all of us are going through and so we just really need to um, to, to just keep the faith, to trust. So trust is the big theme of this week. If I could say anything about this reading, is they're asking you to trust and not to give up, not to um, feel, you know, um, that things are not going to work or that you're, you've been doing all this for nothing. Um, they just want you to hold in there and to keep connecting with your soul's truth, keep connecting in with your heart, keep asking yourself what it, what you what what you really want, what do you really desire, and and no matter how strange it may seem, just embrace that, and see what difference will happen once you accept and embrace what it is that your soul truly wants for you right now. So we close this week's reading and um, we, you know, just wish you so much love, wish you so much success in what you're trying to do, send you so much love and support. Um, and I just ask you really to connect in with the angels and your guides and, and your meditations this week. Really um, ask them to give you signs of how they're supporting you. Um, you know, ask them for any symbols or anything that could reassure you of the blessings that your goals are going to be and are, how they're going to manifest for you. Um, you know, so we just have to stay focused in our hearts and I'm just feeling a lot of warmth, um, from them. And so I thank you for joining us again this week and remind you to, um, check out my website, uh, theangelschool.com, for the new services that are there. And, um, you know, there's the angel reading as well as the angel coaching called Divine Roadmap. And um, this is going to be very powerful, um, you know, in, in terms of releasing um, blocks, huge blocks. Um, and there's some quantum healing work involved as well as... Um, you know, working with you on specifically what it is that you're, that you're trying to uh, manifest or what's going on in your life that's holding you back or how you're trying to move forward. And, and also just giving you the uh, deeper guidance through very powerful meditations um, that will expand your awareness and your connection to the oneness consciousness and help you to um, get... Um, uh, greater clarity about what's coming up for you, what's coming ahead for you. 
and showing you how to do that. That's one of my biggest goals in all of this is to you know, show everyone else how to get the connection, to know how to guide themselves and, and others in their lives. So I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to talking to you again next week. God's blessings be upon you this week. And I send you prayers and know that I'm always um, praying for you and your loved ones and for your true success of your soul's purpose until we see you next week. Angel blessings.